Illinois is in line for a big windfall in federal funding. The state will get seven and a half billion dollars with no restrictions on how to spend it. Governor Pritzker sat down one on one with our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell today. He joins us now live in Springfield with a preview. So, Mark, how did that go? Jessica, we talked about the state's sluggish economy, all those jobs lost, and how the state plans to balance the budget in the middle of this pandemic as we're still trying to escape it, but also got to some pressing political headlines. For example, we asked Governor Pritzker, are you running for re-election in 2022? It's been a rough first term, especially during the coronavirus. He said that's not something he's thinking about right now. Also, as a Democratic governor of one of the largest states in the country, would he weigh in on the ongoing scandal in New York surrounding their governor, Andrew Cuomo? He said he does support a thorough investigation. The woman accusing Cuomo should be heard, Pritzker said, and suggested the state house there could impeach him or investigate or remove him. He left it up to them eventually, or essentially rather. But what about that $7.5 billion that's coming in federal funding? Keep in mind, there are no strings attached, no restrictions. Illinois can spend that money any way they see fit. It just so happens we have a pile of unpaid bills that's seven-plus billion dollars high, many of them racking up late fees and interest penalties. So I asked Governor Pritzker, why not just use this once-in-a-lifetime chance, all this money, to pay down the state's debt once and for all? I don't disagree with you that we've got to be responsible about how we use those dollars. Uh, we've got to pay down the debts that we incurred as a result of coronavirus. That's really much of the purpose of those dollars. Um, we, of course, uh, have MLF borrowing from the federal government that we need to repay. And then, as you say, we've got bills to pay in this state that are directly associated with coronavirus. So that's what I uh, want to make sure that we do with the dollars. We also need to make sure that we're doing everything we can to put people back to work. He didn't quite commit to paying down the backlog to zero right there, but that is a priority uh, uh, of balancing the budget. You can expect state lawmakers will want to say in how we spend some of that federal money. By the way, sources close to the Pritzker political operation do expect him to ultimately run for re-election in 2022. He just hasn't pulled the trigger on that decision just yet. We'll have that full interv uh, interview for you this Sunday. you got to wait another six days for it. We tried to squeeze as many topics in a tight timeline as we could, uh, but those topics and many more on Sunday. Jessica. All right, Mark, thank you so much.